Hello everybody, my name is Nuclear and here we are with a new game called Game of Thrones by Telltale Games. I'm pretty excited. I don't know about you guys, but um it sounds like a pretty cool game and I've been wanting to play a lot of the other Telltale games, but so far this isn't the only one that I have gotten to work. So for now, this game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to by how you play. Awesome. I'm just hoping there's no nudity. For thousands of years, House Forester have been loyal, loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses seek to claim Forester ironwood for themselves, and the fate of House Forester hangs in the balance. Mm, okay. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, both breakers, brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. <laughs> now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. And I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest... I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Hand him what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. So what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That skinny man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I'd have handed it. Aye. Hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. Not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face! You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your coat. The night we celebrate. He's like, me? Me too? Oh my god. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the king in the north! The, the king, 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 king in the north! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye. Death to the Lannisters! Aye. The North remembers! Aye. Aye. Got it. I'm coming. Yes, my lord. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this... Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. True. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now. 
But I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? I seek nothing, my lord. Serving a noble house such as yours is reward oh, enough. You're far too modest, Garrett. Whatever you believe is best, my lord. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It yeah. would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. So I'm no longer a squire? As of tomorrow, no. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight, and I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's why you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. <laughs> Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. I won't, but you will. All in wine around a fucking wedding. You'll Give it time. You'll get there. More easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? It's right over there. I don't know what's going on. I've never read any of the books, never watched the series. Take your time. <sighs> you lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? What's gotten into you? You're acting rather odd. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagging already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. And by how? Warn the others. Good luck. <laughs> 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 Oh, this is bad. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Eh. We're bad. Oh, okay. Oh, no! My buddy! 
I think. Ready, boys! Whoa! Shoot that one! Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? Uh, I'm uh, Speak up, boy. I, I had to leave him. I had no other choice. But, Find a weapon, quickly! Uh, what weapon, though? Uh, uh, Professor, <laughs> oh, jeez! You oh, goodness traitor. gracious! Just break Go, my lord, while there's still time. No. Keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase is time's over. <gasps> no. Guard this with your life. No. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. Damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. What are the you have to go. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can count on you. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle, Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters! Now go! Oh, your honor, you must do this for your house! Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! <laughs> we have lost the world, I'm afraid!
from iron from ice. Whoops. Episode one. That's a big sword. It's like a two hundred sword. What you see, son? Fire. And clearly, it's still burning. That's father's car. Hmm. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. It may be common, but at least still have his bacon. Long boy, there's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father, I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. Ah, I, I killed a man for it. Did you? Now why don't I believe you? That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my... Land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. Hmm. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. No. I'll have that sword, boy. No, you won't. Come get it, you bastard. Oh, that's a... Uh... Uh, oh, poor decision. Alright. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Mm. You won't do nothing. Uh, I have a pitch... Uh, I have a pitchfork. Pitchfork. Here they are a pig... Uh. 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 Please. No. I beg of you. 
I have a family. I don't the care. Don't survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. No. No, please. No one right here will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Father? Huh. Garrett! You survived! Y your sister! Oh. She hid! Oh my god! No! 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 I tried to stop them! No! Oh! Your sword is nowhere near inside his. I'll shit? kill the man who did this. Well, you kind of did. Just saying. Mm. Mm. Iron Wrath, stronghold of Husk Forester. <sighs> it's really pretty. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Oh crap, what was I supposed to tell my uncle? <laughs> oh no. Garrett! Is that the uncle, please? I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. Oh. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? <laughs> Wait, where's my mouse? <laughs> uh, no! You're not putting those in. No! These are dark days, I fear. No! To lose the lord of the oh, house and the no. eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery oh, and betrayal. <laughs> Greater houses than ours have fallen no. in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Mm. Right. Uh... This might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. <laughs> not that Roderick that. couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate.
Oh, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna end this video here. Because it's kind of running on long. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been part one of episode one of, uh, what is this? <laughs> Game of Thrones, I'm kidding. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a llama crocodile on a shark if you want to help the channel grow. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.